Hey everybody, uh, this lesson represents um, uh, amounts that are greater than a dollar. So we've been dealing with cents and then we introduced a dollar last uh, in the last lesson with the dollar sign. A dollar sign has that funny, that funny, uh, well not funny, but has a, well there it is right there, has an S with um, uh, a slash going through it. So we're going to do numbers that are greater than a dollar. Okay, so down here I've been saying about the, I haven't been saying, it's just been down here. So www.mrmathblog.com is where you can find all of your math lessons. So if you are at home or you missed class, here it is right here, mrmathblog.com. And then we're in second grade, so if you go over here to the left and pick that second grade site, you'll see um, uh, I loaded the first semester here, and I, I already have um, uh, 7.2, 7.3, and 7.4, and 5 uh, on. I'll load those up, but you'll see 6 right underneath that. So it's going to be right over here in, in Chapter 7. All right, let's get started here. So, whoops, what happened here? There we go. So um, uh, uh, here's our, our common course strand here. So we're still we're working with time and money. In this lesson, we're still working with money. Our question here is how can we show money amounts greater than $1? Okay, let's get started here. So we're gonna draw and label the coins and write the total value. Okay, so here we go. So Daniel has one quarter, two dimes, three nickels, and a penny. Now notice that they're already in order of biggest to smallest, which is good. It's easier to, for me to add things up, but it's in this piggy bank. You guys have a piggy bank? I did. I had a couple. One was a pretend, um, pretend book, and if you opened up the book cover, it was a bank on the inside. So anyway, how much money does Daniel have in his bank? Okay, so here he has one quarter. He has two dimes. So there's one dime. There's two dimes. He has three nickels. So one, two, three, and then one penny. Okay, now it does say up here, it says draw and label the coins. Well, these are pictures of coins right here. So let's go ahead and draw those right there. So just do circles for all of them. In general, the quarter is the biggest one. And then write the number 25 in there, 25 cents for the quarter. And the nickel's the second biggest one. That's five cents. The dime is actually the smallest. So that's 10 cents right here and the penny. So anyways, right there, now we're going to add them all up. Okay, so this is 25 cents right there. Remember doing this? Oops, I'm going to just slide that up. 25 cents plus this 10, 25 plus 10 is 30, plus the next dime is 45, did I say 30, 4, 35, and then 45, I'm sorry, make mistakes all the time, and then 45 plus the nickel is 5 is 50, plus 5 is 55, plus 5 is 60, finally we got that penny left over, so 61, so that is 61 cents, that's how much money Daniel has in his piggy bank, 61 cents. Okay, always represent it as 61 with the cents symbol because this lesson we're going to be dealing with dollars also. And if you wrote 61 dollars, that's a whole lot more than 61 cents. So, so put, try to put some context to the problem. So it's talking about cents. So put the little cents symbol. Okay, so explain how we found the total value of the coins in the bank okay so what we did is we ordered the coins from the greatest value to the least value so here's the greatest value right here and then here's the least value all the way down to a penny and we just added them up after that so for me it's easier to add from biggest to smallest instead of them all mixed together right there I, as you see i tend to lose my place a lot all right, so we can write amounts greater than a dollar using a dollar sign and a decimal point right here, okay? So what we're going to do here is see how much money we have. And so um, uh, let's go ahead and, and write the amount greater than one dollar. That's what the directions say, right? Uh, 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 we can write the amount greater than a dollar. So, uh, so I am going to circle, remember four quarters is one dollar. So here's four quarters right here. Here's 25, here's 50 cents, here's 75 cents, finally a dollar. So I'm gonna circle those to note that that's my dollar right there. And we just add the leftover stuff. So here's 25, 26, 27. So that's 27 cents. And so when we combine these, remember from the beginning of the last lesson, the decimal represents um, uh, the dollar and the cent. So I'm going to put this 27 in right here. So it's going to be a dollar 27. That's what this represents, one dollar and 27 cents. So we'd probably say a dollar 27 right here. Okay, so here's a dollar right here. So let's go ahead and do that. There's my one dollar. Okay, and then this is 25, 35, 45, 50. So that's 50 cents. So that gets me one dollar and 50 cents or a dollar 50. Okay, all right. So 
Okay, so now we're going to circle the money. We're going to have more than that. Circle the money that makes a dollar and then write the total amount, amount of that money right there. Okay, all right, so uh, we're going to, it's just like the last one. We're going to circle this dollar right here. Okay, and then here's 25 cents. Here's another quarter. So that's 55 or 50 cents. Here's 55 cents. Here's 56 cents. So if we add those together, we get a dollar 56. Okay, let's do another one here. So here, here's four quarters. So four quarters will represent that as a dollar right there. And I know this seems repetitive or repeating ourselves, but um, uh, there'll be one here shortly. So, and then let's do the cents. So these are dimes. So 10, 20, 30. So it's going to be a dollar 30. So one dollar 30 cents. Okay, that's the value right there. Okay, let's try this guy right here. Okay, so here's our dollar right here. So I'm going to go ahead and represent the dollar. So there's my dollar. And then here's 20, here's two quarters. So that's 50 cents, 60 cents, 70 cents, 80 cents, 85 cents, 86 cents. So it's going to represent a dollar and 86 cents. Okay, a dollar eighty-six. You can think of that decimal as the word and. In fact, in math it is. This says one dollar right here and eighty-six cents. Remember the decimal point separates the cents from the dollars right there. So one dollar eighty-six cents is written like this, a dollar eighty-six. All right, okay, almost done. All right, so now we're going to circle the money that uh, makes the dollar and then write the rest. Same directions right here. So I don't see a dollar real easily, but I, I do know that uh, I do have, here's one quarter, two quarter, here's three quarters right here. So three quarters, um, and then if I circle, let's see, another quarter, remember, two dimes and a nickel gives us a quarter because this is 10 cents 20 cents so 25 cents so here's my two dimes and a quarter right there so let's circle the money that makes a dollar right there and then write the value of the money shown okay so here's five cents six cents seven cents when we add those together so we get uh a dollar seven so one dollar seven cents okay all right you guys i hope that lesson makes sense oh here's here's one right here i must have lost that oh yeah in the last lesson you guys in the last problem i didn't lose that okay notice um uh, right here uh seven cents represents 0 0.07 so that's what sonic's talking about right there seven cents represents point or represents zero seven cents or if we put it into terms of dollars it's it's zero dollars and seven cents okay if we put uh, uh 1.7 for seven cents which is the same as 1.70 that means we have a dollar and 70 cents so if it's anything that's less than 10 cents put a zero right there like nine cents would be 0 0.09 eight cents would be 0 0.08 and you know all the way down to one cent is 0 0.01 right there all right you guys hope that makes sense and take care